So in the world of Hype VR and our continued development here, we're now actually using the Google Tango platform as a development platform because it has a spatial XYZ uh, depth to it. It actually has depth sensors, right? So if I back up here, I'm gonna just watch a little piece of this video and you see that at this point, it looks like I'm just looking at a normal piece of video that you can see on YouTube or Vimeo, right? But as I move into that surfboard, watch what happens. Now I'm walking, I'm physically walking toward that surfboard and I'm moving into a closer shot as if that surfboard was really there, actually really there in the environment, right? And as I walk past the surfboard, looking over the cove to the beach here, if I settle in here, now watch what happens when I go down. Now I'm just gonna literally position my body lower. I'm moving my physical body lower and then I'm moving my physical body up. Now that's the power of something that likely you've probably never seen before on any platform with actual live video. So this isn't CGI, which of course we could do in CGI, we could do this effect, right? Which we do in VR all the time. We could do this to a certain extent with photogrammetry with a still image, but look closely at that image for a second and you see that the waves are moving. That this is not a still image, this is actual 60 frame a second and I can fully pan around and look at the, the world all around me, right? I can literally move all around this environment and come right back around to it. And if I back up, I'm literally physically moving my point of view. So if you sort of think about the future of what video can be, right? Within the platforms of VR, AR, this kind of depth sensing device, which of course is gonna go mass consumer, mass market. The idea of just static normal video is the past. The idea of dynamic volumetric video, that's the future. And that's essentially what the hype development platform is working on and why we think there's so much value to it. So as I look at my world of what we're gonna create in the future of what video should be and can be, it shouldn't just be a static thing. Even if it's a 360 thing, we don't wanna be tacked in space. We wanna be able to do this, watch again, right? So there's a nice wide shot of the surfboard. I can pan around and look at material like 360, but as I move, this is what you can't do with normal 360. Move in closer, go up top, literally go over the top of the surfboard down and around it, let me do that again. I'm gonna literally walk past it, down to the beachhead, look down at the rocks, look up to the beach, cross over and look over the water, look over the water line there, and drop down. So to me, this is a big part of our future. In early stages of development, but more is coming and we continue to kinda keep progressing on this front, which I think is pretty exciting.